Hey gang, today we're going to talk about how to do a simple test at home to get indications of how SIBO may be going and what kind of improvements you're creating with the steps that you're taking with this Food Marble Air 2 breath tester device. Now, this is not a sponsored video or a promotional video. I bought this with my own money so I can say whatever I want. And if you really want to understand my point of view about this and the flaws with this system and the way that we really use it to get real benefits with our clients, then we'll put the link in the description below this video for our video on checking SIBO at home. And that really goes through all the flaws and the things that we view as problems with this and ways to use it to really get real benefits. In this video, I just want to go over how to run a simple test real quick so you can do it at home if you decide to get one. Here we go. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So first of all, you have to have an app or some type of smart device where you can download an app from any app store for the, the Food Marble. And it's a nice app. You can put a lot of things in here like your breath tests from this device, but also the foods that you're eating and symptoms that you're having. So it's nice to have that all together. You can see here that I did the test already and I had like a 1.4 earlier today and a 1.1 and that's really what you want. You want to be cool like me. You want cool numbers like that. So if you're getting really high numbers, that's not what you want. You don't want six, seven, eight kind of things. So we're just going to look at how to run this test and first you just double hit on it and it turns it on and then it takes a minute or three or four sometimes to really warm up. And before you test, just make sure that you've brushed your teeth so the bacteria in your mouth are not going to affect the test, but don't use mouthwash. And you'll see that when I go in the app and I push next to breasts, I push this plus button, then it's gonna tell me that my device is warming up. And I can see on here that it kind of only has two lights that are blue and they'll go all the way around and that's when you'll know that it's ready to go. And when it's ready for you to run your test, all the lights will go all the way around and it'll kind of buzz a couple times like that thing that you get at P.F. Chang's that reminds you when it's time for your table is ready. Hey, come on over and have P.F. Chang-y stuff. Um, but when it's ready, then you're going to blow into this mouthpiece here. You'll leave the mouthpiece on. But the way that you're going to do it is you're going to kind of try to breathe normal. You don't want to take a big inhale and take a lot of breath in because then you're just testing that breath. Okay, my thing is ready. So once it's ready, this app is really going to show you exactly what to do. It's going to say press and hold this button. And then while you're holding this, you're going to hold your breath. It's telling you when to do that. And then after it counts for about three seconds, it's going to say to breathe into here. And when you breathe in, you just want to breathe a normal breath, not a big, <laughs> you know, just kind of like you're trying to warm, cool down soup a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to hold this and do it so that you can see it. I'm going to breathe normal and try not to do a big exhale. So it'll buzz again when it's done and that's when you stop breathing and you let go of the button and then it gives you your score and you can see I got a 0.6. That's really low. Most people that are having a problem are not going to see a 0.6. They're going to be like, wow, that guy's so cool. He got a 0.6. He's so dreamy with his breath test number, but that's what you want to shoot for. So what's great about this and then I can just say, okay, and then that'll save that number. And I say, do I have any symptoms? I can put in my symptoms. So then I can correlate my symptoms with the numbers that I'm getting. So that can be really helpful for a lot of people. So I'm not having any symptoms. So I'll just say done and then I'm done with that test. Now in the other video, we talk more about different ways to use this, different ways to get insights. A lot of people talk about doing like a breath test like you would with your doctor where you're going to have a fasting period or you avoid specific types of foods for a 24 hour period and all these kinds of things. We talk about that more in the other video as well as the ways that we use it in real life scenarios to get an idea of the real progress that you're making when you're taking steps to improve any type of bacterial yeast mold fungal type overgrowth issue in the digestive system. 
So don't just go off and buy this because you thought the testing thing was kind of cool. You really want to see the flaws that some people don't understand about this system and see the ways that we do it in that other video before you run out and get one. But if you end up getting it, you can use the affiliate code that we'll put in the description below that'll get you 15% off because $250 is a decent chunk of change. Any kind of discount you can get is super great. So if you end up getting one, let us know how it goes for you. And if you haven't seen that video yet, jump over now and check out our video on checking SIBO at home where we really dig into all the ways that we use this and the flaws that a lot of people don't understand. I can't wait to hear about your results.